morning. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cold in Edmonton here for the night, but it, uh, it's just about dawn. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there's this vertical line of pink above the southeastern sky. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna just leave the camera there in case it shifts or you can see it. Talk us through our meditation here. Sorry, I can't see the screen, so I'm kind of guessing at uh, what it's pointing. Sorry. <clears throat> Let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to be helpful. I'm sure I'm not. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Doing okay, Mr. Taki? I'll leave it like that, and hopefully, that's a little something. Oh, so much for that. Tried. Camera person, I guess. Well, it seems like it's fading now, anyway. Well, we try. We're stocky. Anyway, uh, I'm just doing it handheld here. I've been sitting on that grave all night, and it's pretty cold. But there's light now. I think. Astro's mom may be coming back today to visit him in the earth for the first time. And of course, Astro's already returned to the mother that we all share. Hey, Saki. So anyway, my thought was just about returning to mother and returning mother. And then the, this vertical dawn kind of happened. Almost a, a rainbow of dawn. A dawn bow. It's kind of, I don't think I've seen that before ever. There's something unusual there. And it rose in this perpendicularity with the line described by Astro's last view. So I'm going to just do a little meditation about returning to the earth. So one element in trying these medicine of the earth is the spleen. Hey buddy. Yeah, you looking for a warm spot? Here you go. You want a warm spot here? There you go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, I know that you in the mood to play, I know. Um and the spleen <clears throat> on the uh, left lower abdomen. I think a lot of these videos reverse, however, so this might look like my right hand on my right side, but it's my left on my left. I'm going to give you back to the dawn here. And... Uh, The spleen is a, an earth element. And uh, so the idea of returning to the earth, returning to the spleen, would be to bring our energies down to that left lower quadrant of the abdomen. But the spleen um, is a source of process. It's a source of uh, 
over-processing and under-processing as well. So in a healthy uh, spleen or body or person or being, uh, the spleen is processing the experience and you know, spreading that through the body. But of course, there's a lot of types of use. We have over and under use, we have misuse, we have abuse. Uh, and then there's proper use, you know. So things can go a little haywire. And uh, if we're returning to the spleen, the earth, uh, this processing, uh, which can be over much, The spleen will produce the processing, the, the, the considering, the, the thinking. Usually the, the sort of worry type that we're discussing is kind of overthinking, anxiety, um, kind of feelings. So if, if I arrive at the spleen with my hand, with my mind, with my breath, uh, the way that we had just been discussing, you know, if I arrive there with my own worry, then I'm really just adding worry to the source of worry, which seems to me as though uh, might end up with over-worrying, uh, a challenging situation. And of course, returning to the mother, the great mother that we all share, as we're made aware of sitting on this grave. It's also the sort of thing we can approach with a fair amount of worry, especially when it's our own grave that we're approaching. And of course, we're always all approaching our own grave. And so the meditation is to practice approaching the earth, the mother, the spleen, all fractally the same, without overthinking, without worrying. Of course, we also <clears throat> learn early, maybe as toddlers, that when the mother returns, there's plenty to worry about not just returning to mother, we don't tend to think about death at such young ages, but we certainly think about when the mother returns, uh, what are we going to be in trouble for, and what have we done wrong, and what demands are going to be made, or am I sitting up straight, or what have you. So we kind of learn that very early on from mothers, to over-worry on the approach. And then we practice that as adults. To over worry on our own approach to the shared mother. And so we're going to practice that here, placing the hand over the spleen consciously and bringing no worry, just loving presence to the spleen with the breath through the hand. And from there, I'm going to be breathing in. For me, um, looking at the dawn, where you go, it might be looking at the jewelry your mother left for you, or your mother herself, or a picture of your mother. You might be doing it on the earth, or perhaps with the grave yourself. I'm sure this phone is shaking because I'm cold from being here so long. And 
I'm shivering. I can see uh, the sun peeking through the clouds just now. But the actual uh, through the uh, clouds and or tree line there. I don't know if you can quite see it on the screen. But I'm going to just see if we can't continue this until I can see the whole of the sun. And you're looking at the sun rising over the gravestone here. I'm liking the balance of this because the sun, of course, is the the counterpoint to the earth. <clears throat> so it's the fatherly energy. Coming into view. And it's predictable and slow, warming, quiet. So it feels like we can bring a little bit of balance into this earth and motherly queen realm. I feel like that one's seen two thirds or three quarters of the shape of the sun there. So I could take the hand off the spleen and repeat the practice of approaching the earth without worry, without overthinking, just warmly, honestly present, without expectation or fear, without overly considering it, just approaching the earth mother the spleen with the left hand quietly The sun is going vertical now as well, just like that earlier dawn bell. I'm presuming you can see as well. It's gotten smudged into a vertical line of bright.
too. Hey, it's been a long night sitting here. That's all right. But it's some good sake company. All right. Thank you.